Question 2. This question is about the hydrolysis of the methyl methanoid. So it's an ester. So the hydrolysis of this ester will produce two products. Methanoic acid and the methanol. And this reaction is catalyzed by dilute hexia. So under acidic condition. And uh, the amount of methanoic acid produced, it can be monitored by titration with aqueous sodium hydroxide with the, this uh, known concentration using thymotolin as indicator. So means in the reaction mixture, it's going to be uh, two acids there, the catalyst and the methanoic acid, so these two. So in order to really get the volume of sodium hydroxide used for this uh, reaction, means the reaction with the methanoic acid, uh, we need to find the sodium hydroxide that reacts with the hexia first. Later, we need to uh, uh, subtract it. So means the first step uh, we need to do is uh, to get the volume of sodium hydroxide needed to neutralize the acid from the catalyst. So we need to get this uh, volume of NaOH used. After that, we need to subtract it. Okay, so now uh, let's move on to the steps. So uh, these steps are quite long. Uh, so I'll roughly discuss and I'll show the, the, all the, the drawings. Okay, so step one. Uh, about uh, 150 cm cube of ice water uh, introduced to the, this uh, 250 cm cube conical flask. So which is A. Add 200 cm cube of 0 0.25 uh, mol per dm cube HCl into the 5 cm cube conical flask, which is B. And the conical flask B is the, uh, the flask which the reaction takes place. So now, step 3. Transfer 2 cm cube of 0 0.25 mol per dm cube HCl from conical flask B to conical flask A. Uh, so this is uh, to find out this one, to get the volume of sodium hydroxide needed to neutralize the acid. So the reaction still not yet uh, start, and step three is the one that uh, to find out the volume of hexia, uh, the NaOH, uh, which react with the hexia, the catalyst. Okay. After that, so this step onwards is uh, hydrolysis uh, start to happen. Okay, add 10 cm cube of the methyl methanoid, so this is the ester used, to the conical flask B. Again, conical flask B uh, is, has the acid, the hexia. So after that, so the reaction mixture and start the stopwatch. So means uh, once it's added, hydrolysis okay, will start. So step five, after one minute, transfer two cm cube of the reaction mixture from the B into the conical flask A. After that, titrate with the sodium hydroxide. Once uh, finished titration, do not empty the conical flask. Keep on adding. So after 10 minutes, add another 2 cm cube of the reaction mixture from the B to the A. Titrate again with sodium hydroxide. Repeat uh, these, uh, uh, these steps uh, of 10 minutes interval for one hour. Means it need to be a, a few more times. Uh, so to make, to make the, the, this uh, explanation uh, clearer, so, uh, so uh, we discuss again using this uh, this uh, drawing. Okay, for the first part here, uh, is without the ester means no hydrolysis. We just need to find out the sodium hydroxide used for to uh, titrate with the catalyst. Okay, so again, uh, this is a flask B uh, with the acid solution. So put two cm cube into the ice water. 
and titrate this flask A with sodium hydroxide. So the volumes that are obtained here is the volumes of sodium hydroxide react with the catalyst only, the acid catalyst only. Okay, this is the one that uh, with the ester. Okay, so we add 10 cm cube of ester into the acid solution, the flask B. So reaction start. Then after one minute, transfer 2 cm cube of this mixture, only take 2 uh, cm cube from this mixture to the flask A. Flask A is the ice water there, only ice water. So put 2 cm cube mixture to the ice water after that titrate. So we know that ice water means low temperature. Low temperature means uh, uh, it will slower the hydrolysis. Okay, means uh, after that, uh, another like 10 minutes, we take another 2 cm cube, put into the flask A, titrate again. Another 10 minutes, take 2 cm cube of mixture, from the B, titrate again until one hour. Uh, so repeat uh, and for one hour. Okay, so uh, I hope you understand uh, uh, what is the what are the steps that involved. Part A: State which step is used to determine the concentration of the this uh, H plus uh, uh, from the catalyst. Uh, obviously, it's step three now, as I told you just now, right? Step three. Part B, the ice water in the conical flask A is used to uh, significantly reduce the rate of reaction. Okay, lower temperature, uh, so the rate is uh, slower. So just two reasons why the rate of reaction is significantly reduced when the reaction mixture is transferred to conical flask A. Okay, so reason one, uh, ice water in the flask A will lower the temperature of the mixture, of course. Right? Lower temperature, rate is uh, slower. Okay, so this one is uh, very easy. Uh, reason two, the concentration of the reaction mixture is uh, significantly reduced. This is another very important point. Uh, because in the conical flask A, we know that uh, there is uh, 150 cm cube. So we just put 2 cm cube of the reaction mixture to 150. So the concentration is reduced a lot. And the rate of reaction is going to uh, be slower as well. So you just need to put these two. Huh? Uh, try not to discuss the kinetics uh, theory like the move slower and so on. right? So just uh, about the temperature and the concentration. Okay, part C. Uh, this is uh, the to just fill up the table. Okay, before we uh, discuss this part, okay, let's move on to this uh, volume. Okay, so volume of sodium hydroxide needed to neutralize acid, so it's given 11.4. Just follow this one. Means uh, before the hydrolysis, uh, the step 3, uh, the volumes that obtained is uh, 11.4. And after that, uh, the volume of sodium hydroxide used to neutralize acid from the, this uh, methanoic acid, means uh, from the hydrolysis, uh, so at time t, so we just put Vt. Volume of sodium hydroxide used to neutralize acid uh, from the uh, this uh, methanoic acid at 60 minutes means the longest one here, longest one. So is uh, this uh, V infinity. Okay. After that, uh, just fill up the table. Complete table 2.1. So it's quite uh, straightforward. Uh, so, in order to calculate this uh, Vt, uh, so means uh, let's say at uh, first minute. So the volumes that needed uh, to neutralize the acid. Uh, okay, this is a total volume uh, of sodium hydroxide used. So we must use the this one minus the uh, the blank means uh, minus the uh, eleven point four. Okay, because the eleven point four is the the for the acid from catalyst. So we must uh, use uh, twelve point six now the total volume of sodium hydroxide minus eleven. 0.4 cm cube. So this is the actual volume of sodium hydroxide used to react with the methanoic acid. Okay, after that, just calculate another part. Use the E uh, the V infinity minus the Vt. V infinity is uh, uh, 14.5. So after you calculate all here, so you get uh, 14.5 here. 
Okay, means uh, okay for the this uh, second reading, uh, thirty minutes. So you just use the same calculation. Okay, let's say uh, this is a, this part. So use a minus eleven point four. So means uh, seventeen point seven minus eleven point four. You get this one. Continue all this calculation, you get all this value, right? Uh, after that, uh, the V infinity is uh, fourteen point five here. Right, because it's already said, uh, volume of sodium oxide used to neutralize the H plus from the methanol acid at 60 minutes. Okay, so uh, then uh, for this part, you just, uh, the last part, you just use 14.5, uh, okay, V infinity minus the VT minus uh, 1.2. So you get 13.3. Uh, Follow the same calculation, you'll get all this value. Right, so once you complete this table, uh, then you need to uh, answer the questions later. Uh, okay, so let's move on. Uh, the student forgot take uh, reading five. Later we're going to uh, get it from the graphs. Um, for part one, okay, done ready. Okay, part two. Identify the independence variable. Uh, this is very obvious. Uh, is of course time. When we use different time, then the VT will be different. So means uh, we can change the time and we'll get the different VT. Uh, so the independence variable is uh, time, dependence is the uh, VT. Okay, this one done. Uh, part three, identify one variable that needs to be controlled apart from concentration and volume of solution. Uh, uh, because it's about the hydrolysis uh, and uh, is a uh, Reaction reaction is uh, sensitive to temperature, uh, so we must make sure the temperature of the reaction mixture in the fast B is uh, must be controlled. Means uh, we fix it, let's say at twenty five degrees C and so on. Uh, so it depends on the reaction. Now uh, part four reading two should have taken uh, at uh, ten minutes and not at 30 minutes okay so from here we know that because it's 10 minutes interval uh, here it should be 10 minutes okay but it's 13. so from the this uh, third reading until the last one is follow the normal interval okay then state whether this result should have uh, includes or not explain your answer uh, should this one include then we need to uh, do a comparison okay if we compare uh, the these values uh, for the first minute the VT is uh, 1.2 for the this uh, 20 minutes the VT is 8.5 means hydrolysis is getting uh, more and form more acid need to use more sodium hydroxide so because the 30 minutes is in between uh, uh, this uh, this time and the volume also in between you see so it's uh, 6.3, which is larger than the first one and smaller than the third one. So means uh, for this reading, yes, it can be included. Uh, so answer is yes. So it should be included as the value of the title is accurate with the corresponding time, as I told you just now. Okay, part five, plot a graph uh, on this uh, figure uh, 2.1 uh, so we have the uh, this uh, v uh, infinity minus vt okay as uh, y axis and the uh, x axis is the time in minutes okay so let make it easy to observe okay so should get this one uh try not to draw because it's us uh, okay plot after that, draw a line of best fit. Um, you need to uh, depends on the, the, the trend. If it looks like a curve, you should draw a curve, not a straight line. Because the line of best fit, it, it can be a straight line, it can be a curve. So in this case, uh, the results given, right, uh, it should be a curve. Right, something like this. Just draw a best fit.
Okay, see uh, what is asking. Okay, reading five was not taken. Use a graph to predict the total volume of sodium hydroxide needed to neutralize the the acid. Okay, uh, means the H plus from the methanoic acid. Okay, at forty minutes. Uh, so just uh, check uh, the value. Um, okay, at forty minutes for my graphs, so I'll get about two point three. Right, so uh, two point three cm cube. Uh, so I just use the two point three. If you already plot your graphs, you can use your value. Okay, so because we know that v infinity again, uh, v infinity minus v t, so is equal to the volume. So uh, the v infinity is a uh, fourteen point five. V t is the one that we need to f uh, the the use later, right? Uh, Okay, so after that, Vt, you should get uh, uh, 12.2. So you just use the 14.5 minus uh, 2.3. Uh, so get this 12.2. Okay, after that, uh, because it's asked uh, the total volume of sodium hydroxide needed, so means uh, the Vt here, you need to plus the, the 11.4. So this is the, the volume of sodium hydroxide used to neutralize the acid catalyst okay, so total it will be uh, 23.60 cm cube cm cube eh? okay last one uh, it is not possible to repeat the experiment state whether the data from the experiment is reliable justify your answer uh, we just need to check the graph so whether uh, all the plots uh, is near to the best fit lines or not. Uh, obviously, from the graph, we know that uh, most of the plot is uh, very near to the, the lines. So, uh, so answer is yes. So yes, as all the uh, the points close to the line of best fit. Right. Okay, that's all. Thank you.